I'm going to do a really fun lesson on soap bubble prints today. And so what we have is we have tempera paint and you can choose any color. I also have water and dish soap because I'm going to make my own um, bubble solution. We have straws and you do want multiple straws for each child. I have a safety pin to pierce the straw so that way the children don't swallow any of the soap. Um, and I have a fork to mix everything up. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my bubble solution. Um, and for a large amount of bubble solution, you use three cups of water, one cup of dish soap, and a fourth a cup of corn syrup. Um, but I'm just going to make a smaller one. So I've got a half a cup. Then I'm going to add some dish soap. I'm going to mix it up with a fork. Sometimes the bubble solution doesn't end up being exactly right, so you just either need to add more bubbles or more paint, depending. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the paint first. I'm going to choose yellow. Normally you do want to use a dish soap that's clear, so that way there's no, or unless you do want to teach on color mixing, you could always you know, do blue and yellow and see what happens. So I'm going to use some yellow and I'm going to dump it out. And normally it would be one cup of bubble solution, half a cup of tempura, but I don't have quite that much. So let's see what happens. Looks lovely, huh? I'm going to mix it around with a fork. And all of this you would want to do before the kids um, get started on this lesson. So these are things that you'd prepare before they sat down. And you can see that if you do use a colored dish soap, it will mix colors. So it could be a great opportunity to teach uh, color mixing. All right. And now what you want to do actually is take that safety pin that you had and you're going to pierce the middle of the straw with a hole so that way the kids don't inhale bubbles or they don't accidentally inhale. And then you're just going to have them blow out. And then they're going to take a white piece of paper and just press it down. I can tell there's not enough paint in it already though. So that's why we do this, we plan this ahead for them. Just to see how it turns out. So that didn't come out except for the edges, you can see the grain. So what I'm going to want to do is add more, more paint to it. And I'm just going to go ahead and add green since it's green now. Scrambled eggs. And what I kind of want actually is more soap too. So once that's mixed up good, you want to try it again. And just press the paper on top and pop the bubbles. And you can start to see the pattern of the bubbles when they pop. I'm just going to keep doing it. You 
you can see more bubbles popping. What it does is it leaves the shape of the bubbles on the paper. And you can actually let them do more than one color. A lot of times I'll have a couple bowls of color like pink and green and yellow or purple and green and, and yellow. And it does get messy, you will get bubbles all over the place, but it's just part of the lesson. And so you have this beautiful print of bubbles. Like I said, if you want, you can do more than one color. So what I have here is kind of a purplish red. I'm just gonna blow some more bubbles. paper down on it. You can see both of the colors in it. Looks beautiful. I'm just going to do it one more time on the other end.